Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to take you through this low flow tutorial. So as you can see, it's going to be great for your uh, leg flexibility and also to how you grip the pole from the floor. So you might, um, you definitely need to have your genie at least to get through this combination um, and you should feel quite stable in a handstand as well. Okay, so we're going to be moving through a nice slow-mo version of it now. So you can um, possibly join in or see how to do it a little bit uh, better. So I've got my left side of the body um, in connection with the pole, just standing by. My left elbow is wrapped around the pole and my right, right foot is hooked at the top. And then I want to release that top foot. And I want to find the back of the knee. So what I have to do there is just tip my weight forward a little bit. And now I'm going to fall backwards. And as I'm falling backwards, I'm trying to catch the pole with that bottom leg as well. So it's not a traditional genie hold, but it does share a similar grip point. So if you can uh, land on that left foot in a point, that would be great. But if not, you can just do it with your toes tucked under. You step your left foot in front of the pole, then take a big stretch with the right leg up and over. And you're going to find the back of the, the outside of the back of the knee on the right leg. Put your weight into your hands and then lift that le left leg over the top. So you really want to be thinking about really pressing into the fingers as you're going through that handstand. The left leg comes back on, you shift yourself into a genie, you tip yourself backwards again, and then what you're going to do is reach your left hand high and whip the bottom leg round the back of the pole, hold on with your right hand and drop your weight down. So you're in a, a, gem, a sort of Gemini position, and then you whip the free leg, which is your right leg, round into a pike, the left leg joins. I slide it all the way down to the floor to release from there. Move through a straddle or a pike, it's, it's up to you. I use the right hand to pull my weight back and I just climb the pole and finish.